Hi guys and welcome. It's Debbie here with Debbie Stamping Creations. Um, today we're going to be doing lots of celebrations. I want to show you how easy it is to make different cards using a lot of the same materials. Sometimes when you get like a pack of paper or you only have the one die set or you know you're trying to figure out how to do cards it's really easy to change things up to make different cards so we're gonna start this is our main pack of paper we're using today and this is a celebrations item it is the simply marvelous designer series paper out of our celebrations this is free with a $50 purchase and as you can see on one side you've got this design but when you turn them over it's got a darker more marvelous pattern to it and you can see these come in six different colors I'm almost out of purple because I've used it a lot um, but this is the basic pack of paper we're using today and along with that we're going to be using these scalloped contour dies seems like i always have a favorite set of dies that i go to and right now this is it um The other set that I usually go to is the Stitched So Sweetly. So now I have two favorite sets of dies. But we're going to be using these dies to create our cards today. So now remember whenever you get a pack of designer series paper, it always tells you on the back of the package or in the catalog which colors coordinate with these papers. So it's easy to put them with um, cardstock that you have to create a card. Okay, so today, the first card that we're gonna be doing using these items, we're also going to incorporate another celebration set, which is called Island Vibes. And this is a three stamp set and it has no sentiments in it. So for our sentiments, we're pulling in another celebration set, which is special moments. Now, when you're making the cards, you just need to use what sets you have. I just wanna show you how easy it is to use two main items and switching out your stamp sets, you can make different kinds of cards. So, the card that we're doing, here we go. Whoa, my camera's all blurry there. I went too fast for it, I guess. It says, just a card to say you are amazing for someone who is wonderful in each and every way. So, this is the first card that we're doing. And you can see I have pulled in some cardstock to coordinate with our designer series paper. And this is the So Saffron. And I have some white that I have cut at five and a quarter by four to fit inside. Um, and for the, let me pull my dies back over here so you can see. For the front of the card, we have cut out of this designer series paper a piece to go on the front the front layer of our card and I have also used the smallest die to cut out a piece for our sentiment I just have to find it so anyway let me go ahead and get started here now to stamp the piece on the front I pulled in my Stamparatus now I did this because I wanted it straight you can see on the first card how I'm off um, there's my little white piece that I have cut for the sentiment so those are the two dies that we're using out of this die set 
and we are using the paper and here we go so we're going to start with the stamparatus and i stamped this in old olive on the front of the card so we're going to ink up our old olive onto our image here make sure that we're lined up and look at that and it's the stamp is made that way to give it kind of the um, image that it's that it's um, got the shadowing already done on it so we got that piece done I don't need this piece the next piece that we're going to stamp is going to be our sentiment on the front that says you are amazing and we are going to stamp that right in the center of our so now we've got that done I pulled in some here they are. These are the Genial Gems. I thought this went well with that, so we can add those on the front. Now for the inside of the card, I did, I tried using my um, markers to color this, but it just didn't make it dark enough for what I liked. So I started with my old olive on the top of the plant there's several ways you can do this you can take a sticky note and put right across where you don't want the ink down below and then you can stamp your image then you can I got a little over because I wasn't quite there, but that's all right. Now I can come back with my brown. And it's really not going to matter if it overlaps a little on the bottom because the part there is the stem. So I just used my ink pads. Whoops. You can see I rolled it right there. Let's try it again. Let me go ahead and put this on. And I can't get it to stick, but that's all right. Let's start with the green on the top. And then we're going to take our brown, which I'm using soft suede on the bottom. And don't rock it. Stamp it on the inside. And see how that comes out? And like I said, it's not really going to matter if you overlap a little. That one turned out pretty good. Okay, so for our inside sentiment, we have for someone who is wonderful in each and every way. And I'm going to stamp this in the So Saffron like I did on the front, kind of just to pull it all together. So we'll get this stamped in here. And there you go. So the stamping is all done. Now we're going to put this card together. Let me set these over here out of the way before I ink myself. Okay, so let me bring in my card base, which is so saffron. Again, I just looked at the back of the package of designer series paper and got cards that got card stock that coordinated with the paper. So this is going to be our first card. And on the front, I am going to use dimensionals to pop this up. So, 
take those and place them around. Um, need enough that it's going to hold it up, but you don't want overkill. So I go through so many Stampin' Dimensionals. These are probably my favorite type of adhesive. So let's take those off. The backs just peel off and these give you just a little bit of dimension to your projects or cards so that you can have a little added to it. All right, so now that we've got all those off, we can take this and line it up on the front of our card base. There we go. Looks like I got it a little crooked and I forgot one of my backs off my dimensional anyway, so that's good. I can peel this back up. You can peel it up for a few minutes right before if you don't press it down right away. Okay, so let's line this up. Gotta get it over here where I can see what I'm doing. And I'll stand up so I can see and get this right. Okay, so there's that. I'm going to add a few dimensionals to the back of this. Well, I need to add a couple here. And then using my pick tool here. I'm going to add a few of these gems to the front. I'm going to angle this just a little just to give it a little offset. Grab a couple of these. Let's put a big one down here and a couple of these up to the top. And there's our first card. Quick and easy, very pretty, using the Celebrations paper. And this is also Celebration stamp sets. Okay, so let's go on to the next card that I want to show you. is done very similarly with yet another stamp set, which is Celebrations. And this is called Driving By. And I pulled out an older stamp set that I had called Lovely You. So for this card, we're still using our Celebrations paper. And we are using um, Oh, I thought my computer had stopped. And we are using um, the same dies. This time I have pulled out The balmy blue card base which goes with the designer series paper and I've done the same die cut that I did on the first card for the card base but I've used the blue and this time I'm gonna turn it over and use the darker side and then I die cut out another piece with our dies, this time I used the third die down to get the piece for the front of the card. Now for this one, we are going to be stamping the car. And I want to stamp that so that it's at the left side of my die cut. Try to line the tires up on the bottom. And there's my car. And it says, I'm gonna use Pool Party ink pad. No, I'm not. I am using Not sure why that's sitting over there. 
Um, I'm using the Memento ink for the words as well. Driving by just to say hi. And I'm going to angle this just a little bit this way. Now I can take some of my blends and I just grabbed colors. I wanted to have the car is balmy blue, the same as our paper. So I'm going to color the car with the balmy blue. The rest of the colors that I picked were just because I wanted to brighten it up a bit. So um, there's balloons and I thought, okay, well for balloons we need like red and, and pink and yellow. So I grabbed a few different colors. Use whatever you have. Um, there's our car. And like I said, I grabbed, this is polished pink. So this is going to be one balloon. And then I grabbed Mango Melody, which is going to be another balloon. And then I grabbed Real Red for our last balloon. You can use either end of these to color these balloons. Okay. Now, let's um, add this to the front of our card. This time I just used the stamp and seal to put this on the front of the card. I liked the darker wave here to try to blend it up. And then I again used this. I didn't pop anything on this card. And I angled this. So it's like driving by to say hi. You can see I angled the greeting a little bit. So now I just kind of line that up a little bit. Now these are light enough that we really don't need to put an inside layer in it. Um, on this one, I did not. But I pulled the stamp just because from the um, lovely U stamp set. Driving by to say hi just because I can. Just because. There's no reason. I just am. So that is our second card. And that, um, again, uses the celebration items. So for our final card today, I um, am bringing in one more celebration set the catching butterflies this is such a cute set especially if you got little girls you want to make a little card for so once again we are using get that stuff out of my way um the same designer series paper and dies i brought in blushing bride cardstock to go with the pink so we are using the same die on the front of the card and this time I cut the next layer whoops where are we at here we are so for this one I cut this second layer see how many how you can do different layers and different designs by just using different dies um, but the second layer is the piece here that we are going to stamp on. So for this card, we're bringing in our little girl here. And the, the card's going to say, you make my heart happy. And I have a butterfly here. So again, we're gonna be using the Memento ink. And I'm gonna start with the, you make my heart happy at the bottom of my card. So let's stamp that right down here. And actually, I got another one here. 
That one I kind of put crooked, but that's okay. I'll use it again in a minute. You make my heart happy. So we're going to do that right down here at the bottom. You make my heart happy. Now we're going to stamp our little girl catching her butterfly. And I'm going to put it right above that. And then the last stamp that we're going to use is the little butterfly. We're going to put it right up here. Now that we've stamped all this, we can take our markers and we can color in. I have a light soft suede. We could do her hair in light soft suede. Give her some brown hair. You could do it any color you want. Um, and just color this in. If you wanted to take the darker and go back and put some detail, you could. I'm not going to do that, but there's, there's her hair done. Now we can take, what was the color we used for this? Blushing Bride. Let me see if I have a Blushing Bride. I don't, but I have a, let's do a pink. Let's do Flirty Flamingo Pink. Let me see if this is going to look, it'll look good. All right. So we're going to do her dress in the flirty flamingo. It's a little brighter pink, but that's all right because our little girl is chasing butterflies. So Okay. Now, we're going to take some Let's do some orange up here on the butterfly. Make our butterfly bright and colorful. And then we are going to, let's choose a yellow in here. Okay. Now we can put this on our card. And again, I'm going to use dimensionals to pop her up just a bit. I use dimensionals, like I said a little bit ago. I use them a lot. So now remember, we've got just about two more weeks of celebrations left. Um, most of the items that I'm showing you today are celebrations. And they are free with a purchase. So um, if you haven't gotten your order in yet, I'll have a link in my description below with, ooh, maybe we should go with the brighter. I think so. I think on the other one, I did the dark or lighter up, but I think this time I'm going to do it just a little bit different. Give her just a little bit more pop. And you know what? I have, these are the brushed brass butterflies that are in our uh, mini. You can take those and add a few of these around up in here. And I can also take some Wink of Stella. Add some Wink of Stella to the dress and makes it glittery. Oh, that added a lot. So you make me happy. And again, 
we can do an inside piece. I don't have any sentiment I put on the inside. And this is a light enough color that you could write on it. But I just thought this needed an added, an added brightness in here. So, all right. Those are our three cards today. Um, there's three different stamp sets. But we used, as you can see, the same papers, the same die cuts. Um, and just by adding a few different embellishments and different colors, you can change it up so easy. So, thank you so much for watching today. Um, I appreciate you to watching and subscribing and following. And any comments are appreciated. So, thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed these. And it gives you some ideas on how to use products for more than one card. Um, sometimes I, I've had people saying, nah, I, I don't have that one. I have a different stamp set. And that's okay. Because you can change it up just by adding, as you can see, different stamp sets with different embellishments. And not have to worry about doing the exact same that somebody else has done. All right. Thanks, guys, for watching. I'll see you next time.